you know, and we talk about the Aaliyah thing, right? When I did the the public announcement uh, interview, you know, one of the guys uh, said something very interesting about that because the third member of the group, Earl, who was not in the interview that, that I did, came to them and said, I saw R. Kelly having sex with Aaliyah. I'm quitting the group. Right? And he said, but I didn't fully believe it. Just like you just told me, you said, Earl told you that he saw Aaliyah on the back of the bus, right? Mm -hmm. But yet he sent his wife down there too. Oh, that came afterwards? Yeah. Oh. So how was I supposed to look at it? Now look at it like that. Mm. Because you know this guy, but you're still going to send your wife down here. Don't sound right. Sounds a little strange. A lot of layers to this shit. Right. A lot of layers. I guess if you see the people that should be outraged rolling, it, you start to question certain things and exactly. motives. So I exactly. I see? get that. But I feel like I feel like whatever you thought or you thought you thought, when that tape came out, that cause he cause when when we first found that when we first heard about him marrying Aaliyah, it was kind of like, okay, that was weird, but maybe they really loved each other. Like I don't know, it was yeah, and, and it, it was kind of one of them. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, I, and it was even honestly, it was even I was even too young to to process. <laughs> right, right, maybe because you know. because back then you couldn't really Google shit. So you're like, well, yeah. is she actually older? Was she really 18? Because it says 18 it's on like the marriage certificate. Yeah, right. right. No yeah. social media. Yeah. So it's like you a don't know. Thing. You, you, you can't look up nothing. And then you know. And, and then it and then it went away. You know, fast forward. She's she's the, the rebrand Super, superstar with Missy and and Timbaland. So she's not like, tripping. She's not talking about right, it. right. So it's like okay. And then you know you kind of you might hear something here and there. But then the tape was like, boom, boom, like that tape should have dispelled whatever the fuck else was going on. People lying on state, uh, on, on, in court, taking money, pay off, whatever else was going on in the world, denying that tape was all I needed to see to know that that motherfucker had issues. See, for me, this Takashi, all of this shit speaks to the fact of how Money will make people forgive and forget. Like, like, oh, yeah. if money was taken out of the equation, all of these people's actions, it wouldn't even be a yeah. second thought. Yeah, it'd be Rob the child molester. You would have been. Who's yeah. been 20 years. And you would have been, uh, with, with no question. Yeah. Oh, Rob the child. would have found guilty if he was broke. Listen, oh, yeah. like, all of these things, that's what I'm saying, like, money affords people to be able to do the most outrageous shit. And, and it's just, why? Why? Like, this is the, 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 the illest magic trick that they've ever pulled on the mind to make you think that money has the power to, like, make all, all that shit okay. It just washes away sins. It does, it's just magic. It just, it, it's just... The yeah. secret sauce. Hey, it's two games in this world we play. The money game. Oh! The game. Which, this which, ain't the black game. Which game are this you? This ain't the white game. So, we playing the money game. 